I understand the Chinese government is never going to like me, at least certain people in the Chinese government. Uh, the Americans have done some things that make the Chinese people hate them. And uh, I was assumed the Indian government is different than the Chinese government, but the reality is the Indians, a lot of them view us um, as an extension of that British colonialism legacy. And so they've done some spying and their spying bothered me real bad, but what really, really got me on, a, on bad terms with the Indians, I'm in bed, it's about midnight, just started college, it's my first semester of school, get a phone call, never gave this man in my phone number at all, he's from India, he just wants to see if it's my number, probably because of hacking reasons, and that's why I have a new number, and basically no one has my num number, but um, if you want to contact me, it, the best way to contact me is through a member of my family. I got a pretty decent sized family, and they know how to contact one another, or, um, I don't know, I don't know how else you can contact me. So, uh, I have scary things happen to me. One day, I have this dream about this Indian man killing me. He's in the program with me. And I think these Indians probably thought that I, I was an idiot because uh, I didn't know what they knew about computers because I'm not a computer person. I'm in grad school. I, I'm kind of like a 12-year-old kid at Harvard because I, I, I'm like a guy that's never learned about computers doing grad school for computers. And so, except m my school was not Harvard. <laughs> it, was, it was not Harvard, I promise. Um, so a lot of these Indians, uh, I, I think... They looked at me and thought I shouldn't be there, and they didn't understand uh, what genius is. And uh, uh, I guess, I guess what I'm trying to say is, uh, I'm sorry, I got distracted from the story I was telling. I had a dream about this man killing me, and it was pretty bad. And then one day I was at this pool party, under a bunch of undergraduate students, and I was pretty, I was pretty drunk because I was stressed out as shit. And I was like, yeah, I can finally drink, and I drank too much. And I was not sober. And then someone told me about some drug busts. He just, some person walked up to me and told me about some drug busts. And I was like, well, I didn't know they were still busting people here. I thought they stopped busting them uh, after I told them about the economy depending on it. But, I mean, you never know if they're busting people from, like, some rival cartel or something like that. But I do know that we have a pretty decent relationship with the cartel or a lot of the cartel people. It really depends on the cartel. All right, so basically he, this guy shows up, and, man, he made me nervous. I was like, oh, shit, I was drunk as shit. And uh, I was kind of surprised he showed up there. But then after that I was like, yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I'm set on <laughs> hanging out with these people <laughs> ever again. Um, all right, so... Um, them Indians, they got reason to distrust us. Kind of like, oh, what's his name over there in Uruguay, Jose? Uh, he he actually don't like the Americans as much I, 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 as I thought he did. I, I thought that man was someone that I could get along with. Turns out he don't like Americans. He don't trust them. I never even thought about the possibility that I could have this admiration for a political leader, leader in South America. Turns out that guy does not like you, and it just makes perfect sense because we have we're not all angels. We got a lot of hell angels out there, and we got, it's not just the hell's angels, it's, it's shitty people. It's people like Donald Trump. It's people like our Secretary of Education, Betsy Devos. Betsy Devos ran a company called Quickstar.com, or her, her family owns it. She's a billionaire from Quickstar.com. Now they're called Amway Global. Amway Global basically tricks you into working for them so that you'll pay them to work for them so that they're offering you a job, so they're recruiting you for a job, they're making you feel special, they're making you convinced, oh, well, it makes sense to do this, and basically it's, it's, it's kind of like you're getting conned out of $120 um, because you met someone and you don't have a job, basically. Um, and they take you to the, this, the, this really nice hotel, probably the Trump Hotel, and they do a presentation about why you should join, why you should work for their company, and then you pay them to work for your company, and then you have to go try to convince other people to work for the company. And that's your job is convincing people to work for this company. But they have to pay to work for the company also. But then at the same time, you're all agreeing to basically use Amazon.com, but a shitty version of it. And so basically, it's con. And Donald Trump put her in charge of our education system. He put a con artist in, front of, in, in charge of our education system. All right, so um, what I'm saying is not all Americans are good. In fact, 
A lot of Americans are bad. A lot of Americans are not productive. Um, even the good ones don't do anything to make our society better. And that's just reality. And that's why a lot of people don't like us, but it's also because um, it's not just the people that don't do, do nothing. It's the bad people. It's the Betsy Devoses. There's nothing like a Betsy Devils that represents America all over the world and lets everyone know exactly who we are. And now she's representing us in the government. She's taking care of our children. And, uh, and, and, and I, I think that's probably what Joe Biden, if he really wanted to run a campaign, he should, he should focus on that, that there's a con artist that's in charge of taking care of our education system. But personally, uh, I hope Joe Biden um, ends up hung by the neck because I'm pretty sure that he, he's on that list of traitors to the United States. Unfortunately, I don't actually hope that, but um, I believe he's going to be hung.